Hello, welcome to HVAC official channel. My name is William, and today I have an HVAC interview at a company. I am going there to give my interview. Please watch this video till the end so you can gain experience and understand what kind of questions are usually asked in interviews. So stay tuned and let's start. Welcome, William. Can you start by telling us a little about yourself and your background in HVAC? Thank you, sir. My name is William, and I have completed my HVAC diploma. I have hands-on training in installation, troubleshooting, and maintenance of air conditioning and refrigeration systems. I also have internship experience where I worked with chillers, split units, and basic duct systems. What do you understand by the term superheat and subcooling? Superheat is the temperature of refrigerant vapor above its boiling point in the evaporator, which ensures no liquid refrigerant enters the compressor. Subcooling is the temperature of the liquid refrigerant below its condensing point, which ensures the refrigerant is fully condensed before expansion. Both are very important for efficiency and system protection. Can you explain the difference between an air-cooled condenser and a water-cooled condenser? Yes, sir. An air-cooled condenser uses ambient air to remove heat from the refrigerant, usually with the help of fans. A water-cooled condenser uses water circulation to absorb heat and requires a cooling tower. Air-cooled is easier to maintain, while water-cooled is more efficient in large systems. How do you approach troubleshooting when an AC is not cooling properly? First, I check the thermostat settings and filters. Then I inspect refrigerant pressure, condenser and evaporator coils, fan operation, and electrical connections. Step by step. I eliminate possible issues until I find the root cause. Why should we hire you at Berg Chiller Company? Sir, I am hardworking, quick to learn, and passionate about HVAC technology. I respect safety rules, and I am dedicated to delivering quality service. I believe I can contribute to the company's growth and maintain customer satisfaction. Good answers, William. Now, can you tell me what types of chillers you know about? Yes, sir. There are mainly two types of chillers, air-cooled and water-cooled. Within water-cooled, we often see centrifugal, screw, and absorption chillers. Air-cooled chillers are common in medium-sized systems, while water-cooled chillers are used in large commercial buildings. What is the function of an expansion valve in an HVAC system? The expansion valve controls the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator coil. It reduces the pressure and allows refrigerant to evaporate and absorb heat. Without it, the system cannot maintain proper cooling. How often should AC coils be cleaned and why? Normally, Coils should be inspected and cleaned at least once a year. Dirty coils reduce heat transfer, cause higher energy consumption, and may damage the compressor. Regular cleaning improves efficiency and extends equipment life. Imagine a customer complains about water leaking from their indoor unit. What would you check? First, I would check if the drain line is clogged. Then, I would inspect the evaporator coil for icing and check if the unit is level. Sometimes low refrigerant or dirty filters also cause water leakage. Final question. How do you stay updated with the latest HVAC technology? I read HVAC manuals, follow industry websites, watch technical training videos, and attend workshops whenever possible. I also practice on systems to improve my hands-on skills. Continuous learning is important in this field. 
Thank you, William. That was impressive. Yes, good knowledge and confidence. We will get back to you soon. Thank you, sirs. It was a great opportunity to attend this interview.